This is John Harney, Executive Editor of the New England Journal of Higher Education. I'm here with Henry Bourgeois, who is the President of the Maine Compact for Higher Education. Henry, what have you thought of today's uh, proceedings so far? Well, I enjoyed the, uh, the morning presentations, uh, in particular Jamie, uh, Jamie's presentation, the fellow from Lumina, uh, really spoke to what we're doing in Maine. Uh, he talks about a big goal for Lumina, when in fact, six years ago, the Compact for Higher Education in Maine crafted a very similar goal. And uh, the idea of having a goal and building a program and activities around it is what we've tried to do, and it's obviously what you, uh, Lumina has been very successful doing. And how close have you gotten to the goal in Maine? Uh, not close. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a work in progress. Um, but what we've begun doing, I think, is uh, getting into the culture, into the policy lexicon, the notion that A, there ought to be a goal, and B, it ought to be our goal. That there's no reason why uh, the, the proportion of Maine working age population with a two or four year college degree could not exceed the New England average in a decade, which is what our goal is. And setting the goal was important for coming up with the programs and strategies that the compact has forged since then? It, yes, setting the goal was important for program development, it was, but it was also important to raise a, a, a clarion call for the importance of higher education. Because after you say higher education is important, and after you connect higher education attainment to economic growth and vitality, which is what we try to do, the next question is, well, how we, how's Maine doing? And in fact, Maine is not doing very well at all. Um, right. As you know, Maine is last in New England in the proportion of workers with a two or four year degree. We're also last in New England in per capita income. And we think we can change that, and, and a place to start is a goal that everybody can rally around. Another value of having a goal that everyone could, can own is that it, it values the, the, the work of other organizations. So it isn't just the compact's goal. Uh, we want it to be the legislature's goal, the Chamber of Commerce goal, local goal as well as statewide goal. And the compact has also faced the barrier in Maine of Mainers not being particularly interested in higher education. Is that still a, or la lacking aspirations for? Well, that aspiration is changing. And yeah. that's, that's, as we heard this morning, it's apparently is changing nationally. It's certainly changing in Maine. Uh, we've done some survey work recently and, um, and the polling suggests that Mainers think more and more that it's important. Uh, we asked them, for example, uh, when, when you graduated from high school, uh, what level of education was important for you to get a good job, and most said high school. Uh, when we asked those adults the same question of uh, their grandchildren, uh, they say four-year college degree. So, so we know the aspiration is changing. Um, and now we've got to help them overcome the barriers to help their kids to go to school. And the aspiration is changing partly because of the economic imperatives of more educational attainment? We think so, yes. And, and more and more people in Maine, uh, business leaders and others, are, are expressing the importance of, of higher education. Uh, if you want to work here, you really need to think about getting a, getting a degree or a certificate.